It's no big secret I really like using liner pens when I'm inking traditionally. When I was inking Kwame Hightower and the man with no name, I used a combination of Shinhan touch liners and microns to ink the pages. The other day I was shopping on Amazon and I stumbled across some liners that I hadn't seen before. But they're from a company that I really, really respect, Prismacolor. I had to do it, y'all. I had to get them and test them out. But I didn't want to just do a normal review. Nah, this time we're going to do a challenge. We're going to take these Prismacolor liners and we're going to put them up against the Shinhan Touch liners and the Microns to see how they measure up. Sounds good? I thought it did. Let's go. Hey guys, we're not even going to waste your time. We're going to get right into this challenge because it's going to be pretty fun and it's pretty simple. I've done three individual drawings in my trusty Bristol pad here and I'm going to ink each one of these drawings using one of the touch liners. Now I'm testing for four things. I'm testing for ink flow, comfort, brightness, and crispness. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's see who comes out on top. For this challenge, I came up with a point system for each of the categories I'm judging the liners on. If a liner is a top level performer in a category, it gets 3 points. Only doing okay, 2 points. And underperforming, 1 point. At the end of the challenge, I'll add up the totals and the liner with the most points is the winner. Alright fam, now that you know the scoring system, let's go ahead and get into who actually won the challenge as far as my unofficial scoring system goes uh, you know you can have your own unofficial scoring system but I got mine and mine's pretty dope so you know it is what it is <laughs> let's talk about the microns first so uh, microns the flow I had to give it a three the comfort um, that's the one thing I have against microns they tend not to be the most comfortable for me because of how I hold my pencil because I have a, this weird hand way of holding pencils. It's, it's, it's terrible, but it's me. So I had to give it a one for that. The brightness, I gave it a two. And for the Christmas, crisp, crispness, crispness, <laughs> I gave it a three because uh, the Microns are one of the most crisp fine liners or liner touch liner pens that you can get. So that gave it a total of nine. All right, so let's get over to the shin hand touch markers or touch liners. As far as uh, the flow is concerned, I gave that flow a three. The, the flow is dope. Uh, comfort wise, there are three also. Brightness wise, there are two. And crispness wise, there are two. They gave it a final total of 10. How the Prisma colors stack up to the shin hands and the microns? Surprisingly well for flow, three automatically comfort two they weren't as comfortable as the shin hands but they weren't as uncomfortable as the microns putting them firmly in the middle so i had to give it a two uh brightness now brightness is super duper subjective and it's actually kind of hard to tell especially on a uh, smooth bristol board you really got to look and i really had to take time to look at this but the shin hands were scotch brighter than the prisma colors and the Prisma colors were pretty much on par with the microns. They were pretty much equal. So that's why I gave the edge to brightness to the shin hands and the Prisma color and the microns were too. Uh, but that being stated, these are all very bright, very nice. The ink is nice. You're going to like them. And that brings us to how crisp the line is. And that line is a one. It's not as crisp as the shin hand or the micron so that brought us to a total of eight so what does that mean in the in, what does that mean in the in the long run 
Does it mean the Prisma colors are not that great? No, it just means that when it comes to these to this industry, Shinhan and Micron are lit just a tiny bit better. But if you were to purchase these Prisma colors liner pens, you would not be disappointed. And that's the biggest thing that you need to take away from this. These Prisma colors held their own. They got a nice flow, comparable comfort, comparable brightness, just a little bit less Christmas, just a little bit. Um, the Microns edged it out, but at the end of the day, they are worth the purchase. So, if you can't purchase the Shin Hands or the Microns and you see the Prisma colors, grab them. I definitely, definitely recommend them. All right, fam, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please go ahead and give it the big thumbs up. Just know that the likes are the lifeblood of this channel, so we always need you guys to hit the like button and uh, let everybody know that you like it. Also, make sure that you're sharing these videos all over the internet. Always feel free to share. Share, share, share. Uh, if you guys are new here, I'd just like to say, what's up, how you doing? And I uh, hope you enjoyed this first video that you're seeing. And uh, if you did, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Now, all of you guys, hit that bell icon. That's gonna let you know when I post up a new video so we can defeat the YouTube algorithm. If you guys ever want to get in touch with me, you can always reach me at DKG72 on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I have a Facebook fan page and a TikTok that's David Gordon72. And uh, if you guys really like what you're seeing and you want to support, I have a Patreon that's DKG72 Comics. Or you can hit the links in the description below and purchase some of our coloring books, graphic novels, notebooks, journals, or some of the uh, products that we have linked that are affiliate linked, so we would get a little kickback from whatever purchase that you may make. All right, fam, I'm tired. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's been a long day, but I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you back on uh, Monday. Yeah, Monday. So uh, with that said, I'm DKG72 and I'm out. Peace.